So I was able to go to the uh, NAGA Naga tournament here in San Antonio this past weekend. My son Brandon had his first couple of real competition matches since he's been training jiu-jitsu more seriously than he used to. And if you know me, you know I love combat sports. I like MMA, I like boxing, and I, I appreciate grappling. I have been wanting to cover one of these tournaments for a, for a long time. And uh, this was a good opportunity to kind of test the waters and see what I could see. My issue with jujitsu is I'm not 1000% sure how it's scored. I don't know the point system. Obviously I know the submissions and things like that, but I don't 100% know and see even what these guys are seeing when they're scoring these. Like there were several times I'm like, where did this guy get four points from? And you know, he did some kind of technical sweep or something. But I mean, it was fascinating to watch, man. A lot of these guys were going very hard. And you know, when I was coming into the building, you know, I saw a bunch of guys outside. They were beat up and hurt and nursing wounds and things like that. And then inside too, uh, Rob, my son's father-in-law, they were there as well, man. You know, me and Rob had a good time watching it. But Rob saw some guy break his arm, too. You know, and you know that's the danger of the sport. You know, it's a respect thing, but not everybody has the same amount of respect, right? The one thing I will say is I was shocked that some of the size differences were there. I know talking to a few of the people around, you know, they do the best they can to try to match people up on skill and weight and things like that, but it just doesn't always happen. And I'm sure there's some gamesmanship and other stuff that happens as well with uh, people sandbagging and you know that stuff's going to exist in almost every sport but i am testing the waters I'm, I'm testing to see how my skill development is coming along that's pretty much all this really is the first tournament man One of the size differences like the guy on top here was probably close to three times the size and weight of the guy on the bottom i mean it's just unreal again i don't know all of the rules in the jiu-jitsu tournament i think in this one uh, the big rule i kept hearing people talking about or saw people get disqualified for was leg locking here's another one of those size differences i mean man it's just it's unreal And I guess these two are teens, they're still in like high school, but man, they went at each other so hard. They kind of crashed into us at one point, and that was when I started rolling on it. But here's Brandon's uh, gi match. I missed his no gi match. I was a little late because I had to park about a mile away. There's so many people here, but I know he trained before for a little while, but I think seriously now he's only been training, I don't know, six months, maybe a year. And uh, I don't think he ever even really considered competing until recently. So, yeah, we love him either way. I'm glad that he came out of this, no injuries and uh, healthy and living to tell the tale. But I'm really looking forward to being able to cover more jujitsu in the future. I'm absolutely fascinated by it. I want to learn more about the scoring and the ins and outs and try to see some of the stuff that other people are seeing. Spend a bunch of money, come out here and lose in the first round. <laughs> uh, those memes exist for a reason. <laughs> anyway, all right, thanks guys. Peace.